Hello everyone, welcome back to ETS2, which is European Truck Simulator. So we got a short run today. We got uh, 169 miles. Ready to roll. So let's get on the road. Still using the Stanier, a Scanier. Uh, I don't know a lot about these European trucks, guys, so. But want to get in here and do another run with it. We have one. Hopefully we'll get enough light, we can get a thumbnail. Matter of fact, let's see if we can get one like right in this area where these lights are. Probably the best. See if we can get one right here. Oop, wrong menu. Still the wrong menu. Um, like I said, guys, I don't know a lot about these European trucks. So if anyone can tell me um, like what kind of rims these trucks use, because I have no clue or anything too much about them. Because to be honest with you, I don't know. Maybe that will be too dark. So let's get on the road. We don't have a long trip. We're we'll going to use, leave the map up. This truck doesn't have a GPS in it. Turn right. Oh, but it hit the wall. Yep. Hope everyone's doing well. I do appreciate everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you like the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell. Every time we post, you will be notified. I don't play uh, ETS too much, left. guys. <clears throat> turn left. We hauling. We are hauling toys. Got a lot of toys today. Hope everyone is enjoying the channel and a happy new year to anyone that has not watched the videos. Um, I am really trying to push this year to get more stuff out to everybody. Not just, you know, this game, new games. I am looking forward to new stuff coming. Always looking forward to that. Get ready to turn right. <clears throat> Turn right. Um, this, but I'm gonna tell you this, uh, ETS2 will continue on the channel. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to play this more over here. I had a lot of requests to use these European trucks more. And I'd say I am kind of liking this scanner. I'm gonna see about getting a GPS put in it, but 
I had to say I am kind of liking it. It's um, it's not a bad truck. It's a little different. It's a little. It's it, it's a totally different from American truck, but. Um, we'll be running a modded truck for the next American truck similar. There's a truck that I've been wanting to Go straight make on. a video on for a long time. I've been kind of keeping my eyes on it. It's, it's has recently been updated um, to the latest version. It's been updated a couple times before that, but for a long time it did not work. So I want to get in and do a video with it for anyone that does play the game. And, the, and that is the Western Star 4900 FA. It is on the Steam Workshop. Um, the truck was, um, it, it came out for Mercury Truck Silver when they first come out. And there for a while it was updated, every version. And then the the modder that made the truck, the maker, abandoned the mod. They quit updating it, left it alone, didn't do nothing with it. Uh, someone else picked it up and they have really made improvements with it. They made it a lot better interior. Uh, it's a beautiful mod now. I mean, very well done model. So, I want to do a video with it. Um, like I said, I don't use normally do too many modded trucks, but I think that one deserves some attention because I think it's uh, overlooked as one of the trucks on the workshop. I don't think too many people use it when they should. Um, right now, Viper 389 still does not work. Hope he'll get that updated for long. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. roundabout take the second exit just kind of being quiet guys let you uh, listen to this uh, truck now, I'm not really sure about the engine for this truck I know that they, this uh, they do make uh, v V8s I don't think this is a V8 model Scania does make a V8 truck I don't think this is the one that we chose was the V8 model at the roundabout take the second exit Exit now. Too, guys, I, I don't use a wheel. Um, I, I have one, but I, have no, I don't have nowhere to hook it up, so I don't use a wheel. So my driving is not going to be the best. So I'm using a controller. In these games, they don't work the best for the controller. They do okay, but you know they're not as good as a as, as a wheel.
were speeding like terribly. Of the roads, the roads, and this is a lot different from, from ATS. Alright guys, we're back. I had to turn off the bike for just a minute. Um, yeah. So let me know too if you want to see um some maybe some modded uh, um, European trucks. There's a lot of these uh, modded trucks on the workshop, um, which comes with this game. Uh, so maybe we can check a couple of those out. You know, just uh, give let me know. This one here is the SCS truck. Put the cruise control on for a little bit. Give me a little drink there. Guys, like I said, I do appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the channel. Um, I want to say thank you. If you're new and you do like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for all notifications of when we post. Really do appreciate it. I, uh, this is what I want to do. Remember, I do have a full-time job, so I can't upload like I would like to. And I do, and I was not wanting it to be dark, but I could not find a short enough trip for this video and it not be dark. It's just by the time we do them now, it's dark. Notice. So hopefully the next one won't be dark. You can't hardly see the truck when it's dark. Keep right, and then exit right.
Exit right. Exit right. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. So what about to our drop? This is just what's going to just be a little, quick little quick little run. I will be doing some live streams and stuff with this. At so once I get into it a little bit more. Roundabout, take the second exit. Exit now. Go straight on. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. This is where it ends. All right, let's see what they want to get. We're here. I get a lot of questions too about the the turn signals. A lot of the companies that drivers go to. A lot of companies require you to do that when you pull in their yard. And then a lot of the trucking companies, they require it too. They require for you to turn on your hazards when you are back in trailers. I know a lot of truck drivers, a lot, a lot of them tells me that, you know, the companies that they work for, you know, they tell them, you know, to turn on the, their hazards while they're back in trailers. Even pulling it on the yard, you know. I get this trailer here. These trucks drive a little bit different. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that.
We'll get it in there. guys we drove 169 miles we got an excellent it was six hours and five minutes so we get here we consume 23.1 gallon of fuel let's see what we want to take Probably take some electronics on the next trip. I may end up doing this one off camera. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this this short video. I just want to get ahead and do a video of some more ETS-2. Still using the scan your truck. I, like I said, it's, I've actually kind of been starting to like the truck, so... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell if you're new. And have a good day.